Hey guys, welcome back to Veteran. Mr. Vetter here, coming in. I'm pretty stoked. I just got this box hand from OP or Optics Planet. In this box, I have two items. Uh, I picked up the Hollow Sun HS512C. This is the fully enclosed version of the Hollow Sun HS510C, which is their most popular red dot site. I'll be coming out with a full gear review in a couple weeks, so I check back in to the channel and check this review out. But while we're really here, we're here for this Lone Wolf Trigger Shoe install. It's a really awesome trigger shoe. It's made from aluminum. This is not an unboxing already been in the pack, but uh, as you can see, this is really awesome. This is the silver color. It's fully uh, anodized aluminum. You have uh, your typical safety here. Uh, you have your pre-travel and over-travel set screws that go in here, so this is fully adjustable. All right, let's get into this install. All right, as I mentioned to you guys, this is not an unboxing video. I'm just gonna show you everything that comes with the package. You have your actual trigger shoe, which I already showed you guys. Pretty awesome blade safety here. You get two hex wrenches. These are for the adjustment, and you get two set screws. And again, these set screws are for the over-travel and pre-travel on the trigger. The only thing that you're going to need to bring into the assembly yourself is the tools, and you're going to need uh, some thread locker of your choosing. I'm using Loctite, but you could bring in whatever type of thread locker you prefer. Other tools you'll need, you will need a hammer of some sort, and you'll need a punch, preferably a quarter inch punch. And you could get a roll of tape, or if you have a bench block, these are really awesome. If you don't have one, you might want to consider picking one up, but you could get a roll of masking tape as well, and that'll suffice. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is, uh, you want to make sure you're working with a safe firearm, so... guys so let's get into this install here's the items that I'm gonna use during this install give you a trigger shoe here's the bar you're gonna need some thread locker of your choice here's the two hex wrenches that came provided with the kit and here's the two set screws uh, if you guys are like me I like to use magnets I keep magnets around so this is just a whole of set screws all right, so let's do this. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the bigger of the two hex wrenches. Just gonna take this small bolt off. Gonna remove the top plate. And that's just a matter of pushing the safety in. And you just work at it a little bit and it'll come right off. Okay pin here it actually came out it goes right on the bottom we actually don't even need that one to come out so I'm just gonna place it back in there okay that's in place but the second pin up from the safety uh, from the safety yeah uh, you're gonna want to pull it out I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm just going to pull it straight out, just like that. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your trigger bar, line it up with that same hole where you just took that pin out. Take that pin and just drop it right into the hole. 
get everything lined up. Just like that, make sure it's nice and flush. Make sure the pin is nice and flush with the bottom of the shoe. You're just gonna take your cover, put it in place, just like that. You see everything is all nice and lined up. Now what I'm going to do, this is where you need your thread locker. So I take my thread locker, apply a little to a swap. And I'm going to apply it to my screw. All right, guys. Well, the cotton swab, it didn't apply the thread locker as well as I like. So I'm just going to apply it directly. I like to be generous with it, so let's get this in place. And as you can see, I just placed it right in the hole and I am going to lock it down. And what you want to do, you, you want to make sure it's nice and snug, but you do not want to over torque it. Then just do a little functions test, just like that. Everything is nice and sturdy. And at this point, this is where you take your over travel and pre travel screws, and you put them in place. They're the same size set screw. Place one in the front here, just drop it in. And that's where you'd uh, use your smaller X wrench. So you just drop it in and thread it in, and then you have your other set screw that goes right here in the back, right there. All right, guys, at this point, we're just gonna get the over travel and pre travel screws installed. And with this, you're gonna use the longer of the two hex wrenches. So let's get the short one out the way and let's get this going. And you're gonna wanna ex exercise extreme caution when you're doing this. So I'm just gonna start by putting a hex wrench into the set screw. Uh, these holes, this front hole here, it's drilled at an angle and you only get one shot at this. If you go in here crooked, you're gonna ruin the whole trigger shoe. So take your time and make sure you're going straight in. All right, let's do this. Alright, we got that one started. I have to get the angle right, so I'm just going to back it off a little bit. What I did is I took it all the way in, and I'm just backing it off just a tad bit. Alright, these set screws are the same size, so it doesn't matter which one you put where. Just using my little magnet here to keep these set screws in my working space. Alright, that's going to get set screw, uh, put my hex wrench in the set screw, stand by, alright, just going to try this one in, seat it flush and then I'm just going to back it off, just like that, alrighty. So that's all to that. So now it's all we gotta do now is reassemble and do a functions test. All right guys, at this point, we're gonna reassemble everything. I'm gonna try and get a little closer to uh, my lens so I could show you guys how to put the trigger bar and everything back together. I'm gonna get close to the lens so you guys can see how to reassemble this. I'm just gonna drop this in here underneath the spring and assemble it just like that. All right, I'm gonna come back down on my working surface, get everything reassembled. So I'm gonna start by dropping this back in place. Hopefully all of this is being captured. All right. 
and we're gonna take our slide release, get it in place, just like that. And all you doing is making sure that the hole line up, the hole on the slide release line up with the trigger hole. I'm gonna take my block here, put it in place. I'm gonna take my pen. And the pin with the notches goes up front. That's way to put the pin in is to work the slide release with your index finger just by pushing it up and down slightly and you'll fill everything line up. So let's get this in place. Stand by, I'm trying to keep this on camera. So it's gonna take my index finger just like that. See, I got it halfway in. So just like that, make sure everything is nice and flush. And I'm gonna put my rear pin in place. Easy does it, just like that. All right, so from there, you're gonna put your slide on. Rack it, test it. Check the reset now, bracket, let it go, reset click, trigger fire. All right guys, we're all set. Uh, this is the mag of course, and on the bottom here, this is the EMP, the Strike Industries EMP. This is a plus two mag, so if you don't know about this mag, check my channel out. I have an in-depth review on this, really awesome. I love it get this video wrapped up. The reason why I purchased this trigger is because the safety go flush when you pull the trigger. It's much smoother than an OEM trigger and this trigger shoe is made out of aluminum. That was a big reason. And the second reason why I bought it is because as you guys saw when I was assembling it, it's adjustable, which is huge for me. Uh, the price of this lone wolf trigger was $45. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I will leave a link below in the description, so uh, you guys be sure to check that out. That's going to do it for this video. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to tune in in a couple weeks. I will be dropping a video for this Holosun HS512C, so tune in and check that out. And don't forget to thank your local first responders. Don't forget to thank your local LEO. And don't forget to thank your local military personnel. Those are the true American heroes. Mr. Vetter, out. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you're working with a safe firearm. So, we're unloaded, chamber's clear, drop the bag, release the slide, we're going to break it down from here. Drop your slide. I'm going to bring in my Squirrel Daddy Punch, if you haven't seen a review on this, this is a pretty awesome punch. Check out the channel, again this is the Squirrel Daddy Punch. All right, let's proceed on taking the trigger group out. What you want to do is on this latch here, you just want to push down as you push the pin out. So let's get that done. Drop the front pin. Gonna push out the rear pin. Drop that. And from here, you're going to want to pull your front block out. Just take your punch. Work it up a little bit, just like that. You can pull it out by hand. Stay. And what you're gonna to wanna to do from there is you pull your slide release out and you just work your trigger group out just like that. Here's a pin located right there. And we're literally gonna to have to push that pin through the other side. So the next thing you want to do is disassemble your trigger. You're going to want to unseat your trigger bar. All you do is push up and wiggle a little bit as you pull this out, just like that. It's really easy to do. All right guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to push this pen out. So I have my Squirrel Daddy Punch here. Just going to take and line it up over the hole. 
gonna dry this pen out. Couple taps. And what that's gonna do is gonna dry the pen through the other side, just like that. Mission accomplished. Take this apart. And I'm gonna get this pen out. Stand by. Let me get my pliers. Let me sit this here. I'm just gonna pull it all the way. Up. And that's where you want to be. So there's your old trigger, and this is what you want to accomplish right here. That's going to do it for this video. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to thank your local first responders, your local LEO, and your local military personnel. Those are the true American heroes. Mr. Vetter, out.